Hi everybody, it's only my dreams. Um, welcome back to my channel. You can call me Anna. And um, today I'm just, you know, messing around a little bit with some paper. And I wanted to do something dollhouse miniature related. Um, that's my first and foremost passion in any hobby, in any type of craftiness that I do, is dollhouse miniatures. So, I haven't been working on my Halloween house or my trees. That has been put aside for a minute until I get my mojo back. But um, I just got some really good ideas sitting here about what I do want to do with my um, house. So, you know what? I need to write it down before I forget. Um, sometimes you have to write down your ideas or they'll just fly out as quickly as they flew in. Okay, so I'm going to leave this right here so I don't forget. All right. Um, now what I'm doing today is I just wanted to make a couple of like Christmas like plate sets. So I was using my Juniper Berry um, by Basic Gray. And this is the paper that I was using right here, as you can tell. Um, it's in here, right there. I had cut it up already. And I used, I don't have hole punchers. I don't, not hole punchers. I don't have circle punches. I need to go ahead and invest and get some. So I just use this. And I circle out my punches and um, whatever size that I want. I usually use this, this, or this. I'm in between these. So this one is, it looks like it says five eighths. This one is three fourths. And this one says one eighth. And I believe this one should be one inch right here, if I'm not mistaken. It's kind of hard to read with the plastic. But these are the three that I normally work with right here. So today I worked with this size and this size. I simply punched them out and I also like to use like something like this as a reference. See how that big plate goes there. So I could technically do little tiny plates as well. And I like to keep one of these just around just to remind myself of the dimensions. I like to use things around the house that I don't have to spend money on. I have to use what I have. And I like to create things out of paper, if at all possible, recycled items from cereal boxes to, you know, packaging, whatever it is. So today, um, obviously, I'm using some of the paper from here for my basic gray juniper berry. And then I'm using this backing that held thank you cards. And I want to make a shelf. So I cut out two pieces back to back like this just to give it a little extra strength. So I'm going to have to glue this. I'm going to go ahead and glue that now. How are you guys doing today? Woo! I got glue fun all over the place. That's okay because I got my work shirt on. Um, I really wanted to come in here and just create something today. I just had that hankering, you guys. And this is a very large piece. I'm going to be cutting it, of course, after I figure out how I want to do the setting. So... Okay, we'll do it like this. Hopefully, I'm going to make sure it lines up and matches to my cut. I can't cut nothing straight to save my life. So, my husband's watching a movie. My daughter's downstairs with the twins that are running back and forth. Little Frankie's in there with my husband, and he's running in and out over here. So, I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to put a little pressure on here and some of the glue is going to pop out and I think I like to have glue extra glue than not enough glue on any project so I'm going to let this sucker dry now as you can tell I already made my punches and I cut out my circles and I did put some of this on it I, I don't have any glossy I wish I had glossy I don't have glossy but I did use the matte medium and that's something I have picked up a while ago from online from joannes.com. So as you can tell, they are trying to dry. Now, the way that I created the shape on the paper is this bigger piece, I used a dime. I used a dime. And I just, you know, this is not a bigger piece. Is this a bigger piece? Yeah, this was a bigger piece. This one I was just trying to explore. My, my alcohol markers went right through the paper. It was just too thin. But you just basically, you know, bend the paper 
in towards the edge. Now the smaller pieces, what I used was this wooden piece from my little paintbrush. And I'll show you how to do that one. This one, you try to center it the best that you can. I put a little pressure against my stomach just to hold it in place. Then I just crunch it down. <clears throat> As you guys know, I'm coming down with a cold. <sighs> like the whole house is sick. So, normally I try to crunch it down just a little bit more. And you can use different tops. You can use anything that you have. You just try to figure out something that's going to give you the look that you want. Then it gives you almost like a little bowl. Like a little bowl. If you can see that. It's like a little bowl shape. I used the back of this. Now I I only did these three pieces, so I gotta let those dry. Now while this is drying, because this is drying very quickly, I like the fact now it's a lot thicker. It's gonna give me the um, the presence that I need, but I also want to cut this in half and maybe line it up a little bit better. Like if I use that edge, it'll be just fine. Now I want to put some paper on top. I was thinking about maybe doing this wood paper right here, but I don't know. I'm just trying to use what I got, you guys. I was thinking about doing this. That looks kind of cute. And again, always try to always try to use what you got because you want to recycle recycle but create unique and different things for your for your dollhouse okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just line this up hopefully you'll be able to see everything i'm doing here i'm just going to line this up and then i'm going to mark it usually i like to use a pencil something that's not as you know Let's see, my pencil is not sharpened down here. I left all my pencils downstairs, so I'm going to use my pen. My Dollar Tree pen. I didn't hold it still. Okay. I'm just tracing it, you guys. You guys know how to do this. And, of course, if you want to walk around and do stuff while I'm talking... That's fine. I'm going to do a top and a bottom piece for this. So let's just do a side by side. I'm going to move this. And this is easy stuff to do with children or for your own hobby, for your own sake, like me. When you're trying to do things on a budget. Okay. A little bit of the glue fell out. It's okay. All right. Let's go ahead and cut this up. Um, today in Maryland, um, we have some very high gusty winds today. Very gusty winds. And it's very cold out there. Najette already went to the Walmart to pick up some groceries. I wanted to do a haul for you guys, but everybody's just kind of out of it. And I was trying to make breakfast at the same time. So it was just a little bit too much going on, but I did want to share with you guys. I did. Okay. I cut up my two pieces. Now I'm just going to, yeah, they came out pretty good. They came out pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint the sides. I'm going to use this color. I need to buy some more brown. That's one of the reasons why I haven't continued to work on my Halloween project. I need to go buy paint. So I need to put that on my list of things. I need brown paint. So let me, where did I put my brush? Here's my brush. My little cheap Dollar Tree brushes here. And this is what this one's old, you guys. And I have just like, I don't want to use that. That's my, that's my cush. Forgot to take my cush off. I was doing some stamping and I forgot to remove my cush because I created my own cush. I forgot to put that on there. This here. A minute. Okay. 
See, I created my own cush pad. I just got some foam from the Dollar Tree and I glued, I don't know how many, until I felt it had enough cushion so it would help with um, the pressure up against a rubber stamp for my stamping. Okay, so what was I doing? Okay, I wanted to do a little touch up here. So let me use this. Let me see. Like I said, this is old. That's why I need to go buy paint. Whoop. Yep, it came out good. It came out too much, actually. Watch out, ladies. There you go. Watch out. Let me watch out, too. Let's put a little bit back in there. There we go. So how's y'all's weather? Is everybody getting ready for Thanksgiving? Everybody got plans? Have you gone to the grocery store? Because Nisha said people were acting crazy at the Walmart. They were being so rude. And now I don't know where I put my lid. Believe it or not, I don't know where I put my lid. Do you guys see it and you're laughing at me? Because you see it? Yeah, you guys saw it and you were laughing at me. Yeah, I felt that. <laughs> now I'm just going to just um, paint the edge here. Because that's not going to cover, be covered. I'm just going to paint the edge. She said the people at the Walmart were being so rude. She was like, Mom, people were being so rude. I was like, I know, honey. I'm sorry. I should have had gone. I should have had gone. I didn't feel good. And she wanted to get out the house, too. So I was like, here you go. Get out, Anna. Handle your business. All right. Now you want to do it all the way around just for good measure. And I know I don't show really fancy dancy things for dollhouse miniatures like a lot of other really cool channels that I follow. Um, I like to do the budget, the budget, the budget um, reality for me. Sometimes it's just the money is not there to buy stuff and you just have to make do with what you got and it can be done and they can be unique and beautiful pieces. Unique and beautiful pieces. And it feels better and it feels good when you create your own pieces sometimes. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love buying dollhouse miniature pieces um, whenever I can find them. Or when I get them off of eBay or if I find them in a thrift store or, you know. I haven't found any dollhouse miniature stuff at a thrift store in a very, very long time. A very long time. But sometimes on occasion you will get lucky. And you will find stuff. Okay, so this has got to dry and we're going to let this dry really quick. And since this is um, this type of uh, really cheap, you know, little quickie type of um, paint, it is, is going to dry pretty quickly, pretty quickly. I'm going to get me my bottle here. I know I'm reaching over. Sorry, guys. And um, I'm going to let it sit. Where's my ugly scissors? These are my ugly scissors. The one have been through hell and back, as you could tell. The kids use this too, so I'll just let that leverage right there on my ugly scissors. All right, let me. This is my bottle that I use to uh, clean my brushes or anything else that needs to be dipped. Just dip this and clean this up. So I want to be able to reuse these as many, as much as I can, I should say, as much as I can. I just clean it off on the tissue. Okay, it's cleaning off very nicely. I keep this right on, my, right on my desk. I always try to hide it so the kids don't think this is like a fruit juice or something for them to drink. So I'm sorry I have to lean over and, and like I gotta hide it because they'll think it's like a fun drink. Uh, of course, look, you could tell it's Dollar Tree. Look, do, 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 do. it's okay though, it does the job. All right, here we go. Now I can put that back with the set. My little cleaning tissue could stay over here. And as you can tell, that's drying up very quickly. So I'm going to apply these two with glue. This little wood look type of papers. Then I want to add some other little pieces to it as well. I'm trying to think of what I have right here within reach. Let me see. 
Uh, let's see, what do I have here within reach? See, so these are be too, a little bit too big. Yeah, that's gonna be too big. No, that's gonna be a little bit too big for that. For what I for what I want to do, I should say. Maybe I could do like a little plant. Okay, let me see if I could do something with a little plant. Let me see. Let me see. So I'm supposed to go to my sister's house for Thanksgiving. And um, as I already shared with you guys before, the only thing that I have to do is make, I don't want to use that paper again. The only thing I have to do is make my bread pudding. So I'm going to stop by the hostess, um, the hostess discount outlet that we have over here and pick up some, um, some, you know, some old bread because that's the best bread to use and see the lights changing. See the sun's getting covered up by the clouds right now. Sorry for the light change. But, um, yep, yep. -er. Let me see. Maybe I can use, let's see, it's got to be completely clear. Yeah, I might be able to use this, some more of this. Let's see if I can use a little bit more of this. Make sure. I don't want it to be too big. I'm just cutting a little section like that off of that same piece of paper and uh yes i can't cut a straight line to save the life of me like i said let me start bending this Let me see if this will if this will glue and if it will stay. And I'm gonna have to glue that paper onto the shelf. Have you guys been doing any new projects on your um, dollhouse miniatures? I'd love to hear what you're doing. Have you made anything new? Have you changed the rooms around to coordinate with Thanksgiving, fall, Halloween? Did you did you do a whole Halloween theme and you're keeping a room or a house Halloween and doing another one for Christmas? That's what I want to do. I want to have different houses with different themes. And I want to, and I want to have them display, displayed year round. That's what I want to do. That's my plan. I'm going to hold on to this while it dries. There we go. I'm going to hold on to this just for a little while. And you can see that's approximately the size that it is. Everybody's going to make it a little bit different, but I'm going to make like a little quick flower arrangement out of this. And this is going to be the base. And we'll see how how well it looks. See, I know I got clips somewhere around here. I'm trying to find where I put my clips. Because I do have clips. Where did I put my clippies? Where did I put... Hi, guys. Where did I put my clippies? I don't know. I don't know. I still have to take out my winter clothes, y'all. Y'all saw me take out... Um, put away some of my summer clothes, but I still have my winter clothes. I still have to pull out, and it's colder than I don't know what outside. Yep. Right, Frank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, the wind's going crazy. Oh, I found a clip here. Wait a minute. They're not the clips I was looking for, but it is a clip. See, it's not the clip I'm looking for because these are too big. See, that's too big. Okay, wait a minute. Jump, jump. Well, it's drying up pretty good. No, it's not. It's coming on down. Yeah. I'll get my little clips. I think I have them with my um my little clips. I think I have them with my um jewelry stuff. Yeah, careful. That's for my phone, baby. Don't grab my stuff, okay? All right. You know better than me grab my stuff now. Uh, I know better to not dance. I know you love dancing, don't you? You a dancing machine, dancing machine. Woo! Okay, you guys, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this underneath the here so it'll kind of hold it there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the paper on here because it's pretty much dry. Okay, yeah. watch out, Bobo. I'm trying to do a project here, okay? Then I'm going to just take this and bend it over like this because I don't want that messing up my, uh, my project. Actually, I could just cut it because I don't really want it to mess up my project. Put this in trash. All right. Then we're going to glue the paper. 
whatever choice paper it was that you that you decided to use or to get whatever you have whatever it is that you have now since this paper is a thinner type paper I like to brush it out evenly if I can so it doesn't um, bunch up because don't, you don't want nothing bunching up when you're gluing so if you could do a nice thin layer then do so okay let's put the first piece doesn't matter how you put it on it's all just the same thing here and I picked out a, a piece that kind of looked like a wood grain. Thought it looked pretty. What do you guys think? Think it looks pretty? This wood grain right here. Ooh, are you are you pretty. trying to straighten out my dollhouse over there? It's a mess. Ooh. Make it look nice over there, baby. I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna use it. Make sure you wash your hands. Good boy. That's right. You always supposed to wash your hands. Probably not boring you guys to death. Like I said, you guys go go and do some uh, chores and do some stuff while you while you're listening to me yap away. Let me add just a little bit more glyphs. You don't want it to be too sparse. Not too sparse. Yeah, so again, I would love to hear what you've been doing. Have you made blankets, sheets, pillows, um, have you did you start working on a Christmas tree? Have you, you know, doing flooring, wallpaper? Um, what are you guys doing? I would love, love, love to know. Love to know what you guys are doing. Projects. Because that gives me ideas of things to do as well. Love to hear other people's activities in the dollhouse world. Love it. I can never get enough of that. Okay, here we go. And you guys, please know that in my blog, I do, I do follow up with my projects and some videos on my blog, and I add some additional information, and I talk more on my blog, and you get to know me a little bit better. So if you guys want to like go over there, you can hear a little bit more of my personality and the things that I type and the things that I say. And, um, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to expand it with some more editorial pictures and what have you. And, but I do always reference back a video if I can. And I pretty much cover everything that I do here from hauls to being plus size, to being a family, to being on a budget. I talk about a lot of stuff, you guys. I'm kind of like, just, I'll look, oh, look, look what happened. Look, gosh, darn it. That's okay though. It's okay. We'll just use that piece on the bottom. That's no big deal. Okay, that looks good though. That things like this will happen if you're not careful. See, it happens. It's no big deal though. And all this glue that you see here is going to dry up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it dry. And then um, I'm going to have to create some um, little, the little things for underneath. So, let me show you what I'm going to do for that. I'm going to go ahead and cut out. I don't really like that much. Maybe a little bit more. Let's see. Um, let me cut out a larger piece. Okay. So I can try to gauge what I want to do here. Yeah, that's going to be the size piece that I want right there. Yep, that's going to be the size piece that I need up top. Yeah. All right. Now let's let that, let that dry. Keep this over here. That over there. Then. See if this is going to work. I always try to take shortcuts. Doesn't always pan out. 
But I'm telling you, this is like very therapeutic for me just sitting here and doing this, even though it's something, you know, what you might consider low grade as far as creativity and, you know, the whole process of it and, you know, like blenders like this. But this is reality, you guys. I could cover that up easily with another sheet of paper, but it's not going to really matter because it's going to be underneath. You're not going to see it. You're really and truly are just simply not going to see it. Now the plates I'm going to display. I think I wanted to do like three. Let me see. One, two, three. So just about right there in the middle. Right here. What a second, you guys. My son locked the door. And he freaks out if he can't get the door open. Okay. So as you can tell now, I have two shelves that I'm working with. Then I was going to try to see about trying to create this type of a wall feature. Sometimes I like to use um, wood, like actual wood. Okay, you guys, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this down at the bottom. And I took the took it off the bottom of this. I have several of these that I bought um, maybe 10 or 15 years ago. And they came in a package like this. And um, I like to break them up and do different things and use the wood for different projects. So that's what I do with those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it sideways. And I think I'm going to go ahead and paint it very quickly. I'm going to paint it the color brown. The brown. And... Um, You can use paper, you can use anything. You can use cardboard and reinforce it. You can use anything that you want um, as an added feature on the bottom to give you the support that you need for attachment to a wall. And basically that's what it is. It's gonna you're gonna be attaching it to a wall and you just want to have that type of reinforcement, that's all. I'm just going to color it brown so it can all match, as you can tell. Careful, Frankie. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then today here at home, we're having for dinner some um, of that shepherd's pie. That was my daughter's request, so we're making the slow Did cooker pie? shepherd's pie, baby, shepherd's pie. We're doing this, the slow cooker shepherd's pie today because Nijette wanted to eat that. And Ooh, I was pie, like, pie, 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 pie. shepherd's pie, Frankie, what's up, boo, -boo? boo? And um, so that's what's People, going on with that. I love pie. It's easy a red button, never touch it. Because in all the shows, never touch the red button. Never touch a red button. That's what he says on all his shows. You touch a red button, that's that's problems, baby. Okay, I'm gonna see what it what that might look like just with that nice natural look in the center. Let me see. I think I wanna go ahead and paint it. Okay, guys, I saw this video is going on a half an hour with me yakking away. So I went on ahead and put you guys on pause and fast forwarded a little bit with my own project. I did go ahead and I finished painting the bottom wood piece that I shared with you. As you can tell, it's right here. I glued it onto the bottom piece, as you can see right there. Then I had cut the second piece in half and used that as a backing to here. Then I created, remember when I created this little um, white vase and then I put a little flower in there. I'm going to put two of my little simple plates that I made out of paper. So all this was made out of paper, wood, and the little flower um, using what I have here at the house. Now I'm going to just glue these on and then we're going to be done. Um, I could if I really wanted to 
I could um, add some additional little plates or even like a little insert or cut out some flowers and put it in the middle of the plate. Um, but for now, I think that's this is the way I'm going to go. I think I might move this little baby over a little bit more. The glue is not done yet. As long as the glue is not adhered, I'm, I'm, I'm able to move things around, which is good. Yeah, I think that's... I think that's what I want right there. Then you can always add little cards here on the table, um, a set of keys, a pair of glasses, I mean, whatever you want. And then you can put this on a wall somewhere. Kind of, yeah, I think that's the way I'm going to do it with it facing that way. So I'm just going to put a little glue here along the ridge. Make sure there's enough glue on the ridge so that it should stay. And then we'll be done. I know I tend to get chatty Kathy, you guys. I apologize. But I'm glad I did this. I'm glad I was able to share what I was trying to create today. I'm trying to just dab off some of that glue with you guys. See what it looks like so far. And then I'm just going to put the second plate on here. And then that allows, this little back piece allows the plates to lean back a little bit, which is a nice effect. And like I said, you can add other things to it if you like. That's what it looks like on the side, on the back. And that was, and it's not done drying, so you're going to see the wet glue. But that is my project for today, and this will go on a dollhouse wall in my dollhouse. And I'm really happy with it. I think it looks great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very long video and <laughs> know that you can use the things that you have to create some really beautiful pieces at home without dropping a dime. You really and truly can. It's not something that's impossible and this is the type of hobby that allows you that type of creativity and doing it on a budget. Thank you again for coming by. And I hope you enjoyed my miniature creation for today. Bye.